All right, we're rolling. Hello, everybody. My name is Christina, a.k.a. the Cherokee Gypsy, and I'd like to welcome everybody back to my channel. Hello, everyone. How's everybody doing? Um, geez, I have not been able to upload much content here lately. Um, I'm, I, I do want to apologize in advance about that. Um, I'm using natural lighting, so Shannon, I know you're one of the main ones. I do want to apologize. Um, I'm trying to use this natural lighting so y'all can see me better. Like, oh my goodness. Like, can I turn it? That's worse. What about if I turn it this way? Oh, uh, it's like the door is, ugh. Okay, like this would be perfect. Like, y'all can see me. So let's try right here. Okay, so let's start over again. Hello everybody, I am Christina, AKA the Cherokee Gypsy, and I would like to welcome everybody back to my channel. Hello, I hope everyone is doing well. Um, me, personally, I've been working my ass off like usual. <laughs> um, I've been a broke bitch here lately, so I haven't been able to upload much content. Um, I have been watching a lot of my subbies channels, too, and interacting. I know y'all, uh, Jen Beauty, shout out to you, babe. That song you did was freaking hilarious. Jen Beauty, actually, she supports me and I support her channel. She actually made a song. <laughs> it was so funny. So, she made like a little funny song uh, about us small YouTubers, and I rolled. Like, I was laughing. I laughed. Laughed so hard. That was so funny. But, she called me one of her loyal subbies, and you know, that means a lot to me when one of my subbies tells me that I'm loyal to their channel too, because I fully, firmly believe in that. You know, I believe that... If you support me and my channel, I'm going to do my very best to do the exact same to yours. So, with that being said, to all my ride or die subbies who have been here since day one with me, I want to thank you before I get started. And I want to tell y'all how much it means to me that y'all stick through this and stick around with me. Um, because I have not been uploading um as frequently as I should be uploading. Y'all, I'm just having a dear, a crappy time with, like, the lighting, because I know y'all want to be able to see my face. So, um, like I said, from the subbies who have been there, well, subbies and friends, I call y'all my friends, too. Like, y'all are not just subbies to me. Um, y'all are literally my friends. Um, I just want to give y'all a special shout out for being there when I first started my channel. Um, we are at 754 subscribers now. Um, to all my new subbies, welcome to my channel. Um, like I've said, this is a positive environment. This is a positive channel. If you have anything negative to say, we do not want you here. Um, everybody is welcome. All shapes, size, colors, ethnicity, male, female, um, transsexual, pansexual, it does not matter matter. Um, I like to welcome everyone on my channel. Y'all, I know I'm moving around, but I've got to get some better lighting. Like, okay, so that's kind of better. Do I need to sit in the chair? I really don't want to sit in the chair. Okay, but anyways, I just wanted to you know, tell y'all how much it means to me that y'all stick it out with me, even when I don't have any content to upload. Like, it's everything to me. Um, on my last video, I got a ton of comments because y'all are so sweet and support me, and I love it so much. And if I have not replied to your comment uh, that you left on my last video, which that's what I try to do. I try to comment to every single person who comments. Um, and if I don't, I always heart it and love it. Um, because every single comment that y'all leave for me, I take it right here. Right here. Um, 
everything because that lets me know that I'm relatable, I'm genuine, I'm authentic, and that's what y'all want to see. What's funny is that I was, um, I've been on a couple of bigger YouTube guru channels because, of course, we all like to watch other gurus, and, um, I've seen a lot of comments of where people said they are tired of the editing videos and the clickbait and the custom thumbnails and the fancy wordings and letterings and pop-ups and art and all that crap that they miss the old traditional YouTube and way. So, of course, me and my two cents, I'm like, I'm like... Yeah, I know, right? That's my channel. Like, I'm super authentic. I am completely unfiltered. If I have to go to the bathroom, I will leave this video sitting right up. So, y'all can wait on me. I'm not going to edit that out. This is real life. This is real time. I want y'all to be able to relate to me as much as possible. I know a lot of y'all do not watch my videos all the way through, and that's perfectly fine. Um... I'm not going to lie, though. The majority of y'all's videos that are 30 minutes long, a.k.a. Melissa Lee Garrett, hey, babe, I watch y'all's videos all the way to the end, but I can always tell who watches my videos all the way to the end because I can tell what you say by, you, by commenting. Um, I don't mind that you don't watch my videos all the way through. It's not that. I just wish you would pay more attention, you know, which your support means everything, but I love good feedback about, you know, what my, what my, uh, certain videos about. Um, I'm not throwing shade or nothing because I love you all very, very much. Um, I always got one hater that loves to thumbs down my video. Shout out to you, babe. I would, I mean, I love it because one person just dislikes me and I have no reason why you know I don't know if I know this person y'all I think maybe I want to sit in this chair I don't know if I know this person or if it's just some random person that just doesn't like me which I'm not for everybody good lord we're already at seven minutes sorry y'all kind of a chit chat bef uh, before I get started um I'm not even sure if I know this person or not but what matters is they're relevant, okay? As long as I have my 754 subscribers that love me for me and accept me for who I am, that's all I need, honestly. So, I want to apologize that I haven't uploaded here lately, um, but y'all know this is my passion. I love to make y'all happy, and I love to give y'all good content, and I am going to make sure that I reply to everyone's comment in my last video, because that's just who I am. So, let's go ahead and get started. So, today, I'm going to do a video on my signature fragrances. Um, if you're new to my channel, um, or if you have subbed to me after I made this video, about six months ago, I made a perfume collection video, which was like 30 minutes long because I am the queen of fragrances, y'all. I mean, I'm serious. Somebody can walk up to me, like, at work, at the counter, because y'all know I'm a gas station clerk. They can walk up to the counter, man or female, and I can be like, hey, that's Curve. Hey, that's Usher. Hey, that's Sean John. Ooh, that's Victoria's Secret Pure Seduction. That's Love Spell. Um, you know, or that's Bath and Body Works' is Country Apple or, you know, something like that. I am the fragrance queen. I am obsessed with fragrances, okay? I won't pay $130 for an eyeshadow palette, a.k.a. Natasha Denona, but I will drop $130 for a perfume real quick because I love it that much. And skincare, of course. By the way, y'all, look at my skin. Shout out to Pixie by Petra. My skin has completely transformed and I've never felt so confident. So let's go ahead and get started. Um, I'm going to show y'all my signature fragrances, what I like to wear um, all year round. I'm not one of those gals that switch it up, wear more fruity scents during the summer and more warm and spicy scents during the winter and fall. Um, I am a warm and spicy, earthy girl all year round. Um, I do not like the sweet smelling perfumes. I am not a fan of real floral 
perfumes besides a couple. I have two of my signature fragrances I'm going to show y'all. Um, but me, personally, I am a woodsy, earthy, smoky, seductive, intoxicating, and mysterious scent type of girl. Sophisticated, sexy, mysterious, um, smoky, like I love scents like that because they go with my personality of who I am and they mix well with my body chemistry the best. Um, what inspired me to make this video is yesterday I went to Sephora and bought Y'all know that um, last week when I showed y'all my my little mini Sephora haul, my last video, um, I showed y'all that I bought the Elizabeth and James Nirvana uh, Amethyst Rollerball, and this is uh, $28 at Sephora, and um, the three notes of this scent is um, three of my favorites. Oh, by the way, I'm a patchouli lover too, love patchouli. The three main notes of this scent is tobacco, honeysuckle, and cedar. You mix these two together and you have one incredible fragrance, okay? So, I know I showed y'all the rollerball. This stuff, look, I've already used that much. Like, I am obsessed with this scent. So, if you've been watching my channel for a while and you actually like watch my videos and you know kind of you know listen to me talk because I'm kind of like your homegirl like your friend you know we're just sitting around conversating um for the ones that don't know already but for the ones who do um my all-time signature fragrance is um this one right here so, the Elizabeth and James collection, Elizabeth and James is a um, designer brand, and they collabed with Mary-Kate and Ashley Olsen and come out with their own um, signature fragrances, and they have, it's called Nirvana, um, but there's different types of scents. You have um, Elizabeth and James, Nirvana Black, Nirvana Bourbon, Nirvana Peony, uh, Nirvana Rose, which this is is Nirvana Rose. This is Elizabeth and James Nirvana Rose, okay? And the three main no notes in this, this is like my signature all-time fragrance right here, and I think they're discontinuing it at Sephora, and it really breaks my heart. So, this is a full bottle because I've already went through a whole bottle of this already. The main notes in this scent is Geranium, Rose de Mai, and Veti Vetiver. Which this this fragrance right here is not for uh, ladies and gentlemen. Well, ladies mostly that like the sweet, sweet smelling um, mainstream fragrances. This is a very intoxicating, sophisticated fragrance. If you have not smelled this, go to Sephora. This scent is not for everybody, but this is my main signature fragrance. Elizabeth and James Nirvana Rose. It smells like roses and smoky, and it's got a little bit of tin of musk to it, which I'm not a big fan of musk, um, but the way that it is created, the geranium and the vetiver, however you say that in this fragrance, is out of this world. So, this is my main signature fragrance that I wear pretty much all through the week. Um, before this fragrance right here, my main, like, all-time signature fragrance, I have two boxes of this, by the way. This is $70, uh, the one ounce of the Elizabeth and James Nirvana collection, but, um, my main fragrance that I've worn for a very, probably about over a year now, um, is the Wives St. Laurent Black Opium. Um, this fragrance is a sweet smelling fragrance, but it is combined with coffee, the scent of coffee, which I like tobacco and coffee. So you mix, this is a mixture of vanilla, tiger lily, and, um, coffee. And when you mix coffee and vanilla together, this is what you create. This is a very expensive perfume. I paid $115 for this full size, but y'all, one sniff of this, you're in love. 
So this is this has been my main signature fragrance for the past year and a half um, until I was introduced to the Elizabeth and James fragrance collection, which they're Nirvana Rose, like I've said. But now, I'm not a fan of their Nirvana Black, Nirvana Bourbon, or Nirvana Peony. They're just really not me. Um, but recently, Sephora come out with two new, uh, well, Elizabeth and James um, come out with two new fragrances by the Nirvana line. And they're called Nirvana French Grey, which has some lavender and musky notes in it, which... Michael didn't really like and I wasn't too crazy about it and then they had uh, then they come out with the uh, Elizabeth and James Nirvana Amethyst which February 1st is my birthday yay I'll be 28 um, Amethyst is my birthstone which is even doper okay um, this is the color of my birthstone I could not get the full size perfume last week because I had to have that full size bum bum cream so I bought the rollerball but I went to Sephora yesterday and Y'all know it. I am so excited to show y'all. So, I bought the brand new Elizabeth and James Nirvana Amethyst. And y'all, this tobacco, honeysuckle, and cedar all mixed together, it is so freaking intoxicating. So, let me show y'all the bottle. Here is the infamous Nirvana Amethyst, which... Nirvana Rose and Nirvana Amethyst look a lot alike, but if you look, this one is red and this one is Amethyst Purple. So, these two fragrances are me. I like to, I haven't mixed them yet, but these are my two main signature fragrances. Um, Elizabeth and James Nirvana Rose, Elizabeth and James Nirvana Amethyst. I am obsessed with this scent. One whiff and I knew I had to have it. I had to get the rollerball like I said last week, but yesterday I bought the one ounce bottle of Nirvana Amethyst and y'all, next time you're in Sephora. I want you to go over there to their perfume selection, their fragrance selection. I want you to look at the Elizabeth and James collection and I want you to smell their Nirvana Amethyst. That is me. And also smell their Nirvana Rose if they have any more left on the shelf because apparently they're discontinuing this and that really, really breaks my heart because it's my one of my favorite fragrances of all freaking time which I'm not gonna lie I still wear my YSL black opium I love this stuff so um another I got four more well five more fragrances to talk about um I'm just showing y'all the scents I like to switch them up but here lately I've really been wearing my uh, Nirvana Amethyst because it's new and I love the scent that much it's so smoky that's where the tobacco notes come from um, but this is I told y'all I don't like those sweet smelling or fresh crispy I'm not into that type of stuff I like earthy woody smoky exotic sexy sophisticated mysterious scents um and this is another one that I love. This is not by Elizabeth and James. This is by the brand Nest. And this is their Midnight Fleur fragrance. This is their Rollerball, which is $30. And I think, what is the, um, damn it. I'm trying to think, what are the three main notes in this? I wish it told me. Does it say on the bottle? So, here's the bottle, um, and they have these in Sephora, too, where you can get them. It's got patchouli in it. Um, this Midnight Fleur is so sexy, y'all. It is to die for. So, I told... Oh, my gosh. Dang it. So, my Nirvana Rose has all the signature scents, that, notes that I like. Um, and the Amethyst, of course, tobacco, cedar, and uh, honeysuckle. And so that midnight floor, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna look it up real quick. I'm still good. We're at 19 minutes. So the midnight floor, I'm gonna tell y'all the base notes of this fragrance. 
um, nest midnight floor. Okay. So this is also, like I said, $30 at Sephora. You can actually buy the oil, the actual real perfume oil on Sephora.com. Um, like this, like you can, there's the bottle. So I'm going to go ahead and, okay, here we go. So the base notes of the Nest Midnight Fleur, there it is on Sephora. It is $72 for a 1.7 ounce. So the main notes is... Come on. Exotic wood, patchouli, and black amber are blended with sensual notes of night blooming jasmine and vanilla orchid. The combination of these notes is bold, irresistible, and purely sensual. So listen to these base notes. Exotic wood, patchouli, black amber, Night Blooming Jasmine and Vanilla Orchid. Exactly, I rest my case. My fragrance selections are have a lot of the same base notes because that is what I enjoy. Uh, sandalwood, Jasmine, uh, Vanilla Orchid, Tiger Lily, um, Amber, I love Amber, Sandalwood, Rose, um, Patchouli, um, all of those intense earthy Sense, which they are floral too but yet they're more earthy than like that sweet smelling floral so if you are interested definitely go to Sephora they have the testers and you can try these out they also have many other different kinds by Nest they also have one uh, called Indigo which I don't own yet but I do like and will plan on be getting it next um, another one of my favorites uh, signature fragrances which the ones that I'm showing y'all in this video I'm gonna hurry up crap we're already at 22 minutes this is the OG Calvin Klein euphoria okay this stuff right here y'all oh <sighs> Calvin Klein euphoria is me in a bottle so let me tell y'all the base notes of the Calvin Klein uh, euphoria just so y'all know, um, I know patchouli is one of the main um, one of the main base notes. I love patchouli. I absolutely love patchouli in any fragrance, really. So the Calvin Klein Euphoria. Just in case y'all are wondering, you know, um, and also, if you are interested in finding a new fragrance for yourself based on your interest and what you like and your personality, I am the go-to girl for this, y'all. I could literally make a series about fragrances. If y'all are interested in that, um, let me know in the comments below. So, uh, the Calvin Klein Euphoria, the base notes of this little guy right here. God, it's intoxicating. So, details. Euphoria is about sexiness, fantasy, and being captivating. Sexy and sensual, Euphoria speaks to the woman who has the urge to break free from everyday life, aka Cherokee Gypsy, to provocatively be part of an exciting world filled with pleasure, surprise, and temptation. Her fragrance is a contrast between exotic fruits and seductive florals for a rich, creamy, seductive signature. I rest my case. Obsessed with Calvin Klein Euphoria. I will be getting the big bottle once this little guy is gone. Love it so much. Always been one of my favorites. I also have the Calvin Klein Euphoria Forbidden, but I'm not too crazy about it. Now. I'm going to go ahead and show y'all a floral fragrance because all of these fragrances have a lot in common. They all have the deep, sensual, sexy notes that I love in a fragrance, which it speaks to me. If I had to pick one floral fragrance that I love that is not deep, sensual, and sexy, that would be the infamous uh, Marc Jacobs Daisy, okay? I love Daisy. I don't know what it is about it, but 
it's extremely floral and it it literally smells like you've been galloping in a field full of daisies like you're running through a field full of daisies y'all this goes so good with my body chemistry if you have not smelled mark jacobs daisy you're missing out this is probably the only floral fragrance that I own that is super floral like this, um, but I highly recommend it. And I don't even like floral fragrances like that. It smells so good, y'all. So good. Next, this is uh, one of my other favorites. All the ones I'm showing y'all, like I said, is me. We're at 25. Crap, I'm going to hurry up. So, this is the Miss Dior this is the Miss Dior Broom Soirees. This is their Silky Body Mist right here. This is not the perfume, um, which it is the perfume because this was like $60 by itself. And this is just the Silkening Body Mist. This is just the regular Miss Dior, the pink one. And y'all, this is so freaking intoxicating. Like, I... Uh, it's floral too. This Miss Dior is floral, but it also has a deeper sexual, sensual note to it too. And I love this body mist. It lasts all day long. It's super, I mean, it's super classy, luxe, like it's a glass bottle. It's big. Love this stuff. Miss Dior. Love it, love it, love it. And then last but not least, um, this would be my only, so Marc Jacobs and Miss Dior are my two floral fragrances that I just love. But this is my last fragrance, okay? And this is the Giorgio Armani um, Air. This is part of their um, wind or fire, sun, air, their elements uh, fragrance collection. And this is air. So Michael picked this out for me. This is a aquatic, crisp, fresh fragrance. Okay, this is something that I usually would not lean towards. It is not me at all. But I love this fragrance. Michael picked it out. He liked the way it smelled on me. This is my only crisp, fresh, aquatic fragrance. And this is the Giorgio Armani Air. Look at the packaging. It is so luxe and so sexy. Like, I'm just a sucker for this. Which y'all can tell. I've used quite a few of it. It's very, very crisp and aquatic. But it smells super fresh. And Michael likes fresh fragrances on me too. So that would be my only recommendation of a crisp, aquatic fragrance. It's very, very sexy. So yeah, that is my video. Let me end it before it gets too long. Um, I really hope y'all enjoyed my uh, signature fragrance collection. Um, if you're new to my channel, please don't forget to click that subscribe button. To all my ride or die subbies, y'all are the shit. I wouldn't do this without y'all. Um, I am, like I said, the fragrance queen, okay? If you are interested in trying to find a fragrance for you, okay, and you want um, personalized uh, advice or recommendations or suggestions, I'm telling y'all, I'm the girl, <laughs> I'm the girl to talk to. So please comment below and let me know your personality traits and I can recommend a fragrance for you individually. I love you all and thank you so much for watching. Give me a thumbs up if you like this video. I really hope y'all did because I enjoyed filming this one. Um, I will see y'all in my next video and hopefully it is another makeup tutorial. I love y'all so much. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.